there's a number of issues that may impact on lung cancer patients over the next couple of years. Uh, so the first one is genomic testing, increasing individualization of therapy, the splintering of lung cancer into multiple different subtypes, and whether some of these are so rare that they need to be treated in specialist centers, or whether we can use the same model that we have at present time where um, uh, all oncologists who have special interest in lung cancer treat all patients. And we try and keep them in, in the hubs closer to home. So I, th I think that's something that we'll really have to look at as we move forward. Um, the next issue is uh, going to be a sort of changing demographic in that um, traditionally the majority of the patients that we've looked after have been uh, ex-smokers or smokers or ex-smokers. Um, the incidence of non-smoking lung cancer is increasing and that will change the demographic of the patient population we treat, but also the genomic profile. And then the third thing from my point of view is uh, looking at sort of new therapies coming forward. So, you know, obviously immunotherapy has completely changed the way we treat lung cancer with the checkpoint inhibitors. There's a number of new immune therapies coming through or new ways of using the immune system to target lung cancer. So that includes um, things like, uh, you know, bispecific antibodies, cellular therapies. And certainly I anticipate I'm going to be very busy over the next couple of years evaluating which one of these look like they should be coming forward into clinical practice.